Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about Form in ClickUp. If you are already familiar with forms like Google Form or any other types of form that you've seen before, I am going to tell you in this tutorial that ClickUp also have that type of form that are going to be very very helpful if you have some sort of task or project or maybe some homework from school that requires you to create forms with responses from other people. So here I got my ClickUp dashboard. This is how it looks like. This is the home dashboard. And this is the everything space, which means that all of my tasks is jumbled in here, whether it's from my team space or my main job space or my freelance space, everything is listed over here. And if you would like to create a form, you can go ahead and do it by clicking this view buttons right here. And you can see we can choose list, which is already here, just this one. And then we go grant if you want to maybe set up some progress bar, you can choose this one. And then you can see it in the calendar view, which is this one or docs or table board. And this is actually what we're looking for. But as you can see, it, this one is unclickable. And it says here that forms can't be added at the everything level. So in order to be able to add it, we will have to choose a specific space, folder or list. And only then the form will be able to be created. So I'm going to go to my freelance job right here. And let's say that I need someone to fill in a type of form for me. So here I am on my freelance space that I want to go and click on this view option. You can just scroll down until you find form or you can just type in right. So you can see that if you type it, you can find the form. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And here you're going to choose on what kind of form templates you want to start with. So we got feedback form, project intake, and then we go order form, job application. And there's this one more down here. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the feedback form. Let's say I need someone to give me a feedback on maybe some kind of project that I'm working on and i'm going to select this list i don't have a lot of list on my freelance space i only have one so this is going to be the one i'm assigning the form to but if you have specific list to put this form on you can just go ahead and choose the ones right here or if you would like to create a new one you can just click create a new list and maybe i'm just going to name this form like so so I'm going to click on enter and now I got my form created, my form list created, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on confirm. So this is how the form currently look like. I have several fields already added. I got topic of feedbacks and then tell us more what made this experience great or not so great, etc. And currently I only have two. And I can choose whether I want this element or this task field to be required or not. Meaning that if they don't want to fill this in, they can just skip it. I'm just going to make everything required for now. And let's say that I want to add some more task field. I can just go ahead and take a look on the left side of the screen right beside the navigation menu i will get more task field like so and you can also see that i got zero responses because i literally just created this form and i haven't shared it anywhere else yet so let's say that i want to add a custom field and it's going to be in a text form it's going to be name because I want people to put their name on my form. And let's say I'm going to say full name here, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on create. 
all right so i got the custom field created then if i want to add it i can just go ahead and click on this plus sign and it's going to add this into the form and i'm just going to create one more custom field but this time it's going to be in the form of number let's say that i want them to add their phone number so i'm going to add contact here and phone number for the description you don't always have to fill in the description if you are fine with just the field name it's okay you can just leave it as it is i like to add description just so that people will understand what's going on so i got the contact added here so currently we got the topic of feedback and then the second question from the templates as well as name field and contact field so let's say that i want to change this one to how do you feel about the project so let's say how do you feel about dot 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 and Again, if you would like to change it, all you have to do is click on the text or you can also click on this pencil symbol right here and start typing in, in whatever you want to type. Or if you would like to remove this from the form, you can always click on the triple dot right here and, and click remove from this form. I'm good with these. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and continue. Now I'm going to go and make sure that the form is active on the page that I want. And if you'd like to see how the form looks like for now, you can go to the preview section. And as you can see, this is how the form looks like. And you can choose between the theme, but if you're using the free plan, you will have to upgrade your plan first. You can see that if I click on the dark theme to change the color, it's going to say that this feature isn't available on your current plan. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. And you can also choose the primary color of your form. Currently, I got pink as my primary color because it is the theme color for my overall click up. But you can always choose from the available color here or you can also click on this color picker symbol and choose on from the range of color inside of this color box or you can also add the hex code if you know and then here are some additional settings like click up branding and then add custom field answer to description of tasks keep fields full etc i'm just going to leave the additional setting as it is and here you'll be able to have the options to copy the link of your form or you can set the expiry date for example if you need this to be done at a certain time so you can set expiry date to your form you can go ahead and click on it but again this one will need you to upgrade your plan and you can share link with search engine you can embed code let's say you want to insert this form inside of other website you can copy the code and embed it into that website i'm just going to go ahead and copy the link for now and let's see what will happen if we paste the link on our search bar all right so now i'm going to fill this in and we'll see how the response will looks like once it's filled so here are the filling for the form now i'm going to go ahead and click on submit and now we got the form submitted. I'm going to go back to my ClickUp and let's see if we got anything change here. All right, as you can see now on the response section, I got one response and this is how the response look like. If I click on it, I'll be able to see the whole thing. I got the number as well as the name. It's going to automatically inserted into the task card so we got the main answer and then some more explanation contact as well as the name 
So the only problem that I got is that when I try to enter the number for the contact number, apparently you can only add like one number to it. So instead of adding number as the type of the field, you can just add text instead so that people will be able to type in number like so. And that's basically it. That is how you can create a form with ClickUp. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.